Section 2 of the Sherman Antitrust Act prohibits monopolization and attempted monopolization. Both require proof of engagement in anti-competitive conduct. In United States v. AMR Corporation, we explore one form of anti-competitive conduct, namely predatory pricing. The Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, or DFW, was American Airlines' hub airport. As of 2000, approximately 70% of DFW passengers flew with American. But a few low-cost carriers started to attract increasing passengers by offering lower fares on four key routes. American responded by lowering its prices and increasing passenger capacity on those routes. As a result, each of the low-cost carriers failed to acquire any significant market share and ultimately either moved elsewhere or ceased to exist. American then resumed its original pricing and passenger capacity. The government sued American for violating Section 2 of the Sherman Act by monopolizing and attempting to monopolize the DFW market via predatory pricing. The government claimed that American intended to develop a reputation for predatory pricing to deter low-cost carriers from entering the DFW market. To demonstrate predatory pricing, the government relied on four non-traditional proxies for marginal cost purportedly showing that American's conduct resulted in American operating at a net loss. American moved for summary judgment, arguing that under the traditional proxy, namely average variable cost, it wasn't pricing below cost and therefore wasn't engaged in predatory pricing. The district court granted summary judgment in Americans' favor, and the government appealed to the Tenth Circuit.